Welcome to this video in which we will show how to do AC steady state analysis for a circuit that includes both an independent source and a dependent voltage source. This is the circuit that we have in front of us and um, we'll just go ahead and apply the steps that we know for AC steady state analysis. So the first thing to do is to identify omega you can see here that omega is 5,000. And now we'll convert uh, the voltages in the circuit to phasors. So this guy here, the source voltage, becomes 6 volts at an angle of 0 degrees. V sub f of t becomes V sub f. The output voltage V out of t becomes V out. And the voltage of our controlled source, V f of t, becomes V f. Okay, so basically we've completed step one. We've figured out uh, what uh, omega is and we've converted all of the voltages in the circuit that we want into phasors. The next step is to compute the impedances of the elements that are not resistors. And the only one we have here is a capacitor. So if I compute the impedance of the capacitor, that's ZC, is 1 over J omega C. So that will be 1 over J 5000 times 100 nanofarads. And if we work this out, this is minus J 20, or 2000, I'm sorry. I don't know where 20 came from. Okay, so we'll get rid of this guy and replace it by minus J 2000 ohms. Or we could have written that more simply as minus J 2K ohms. Okay, so that gets us through step two. Step three, oops, let's clear this off again so we'll have some room to compute. Step three, is to solve the circuit using techniques that we know and understand. So we look at the circuit and we ask ourselves what techniques do we know that would apply. And um, we could apply several. Uh, we could combine all of the elements into a single equivalent element and then perhaps solve for the current. Um, that has the disadvantage of we would have to go back and figure out what VF is. It turns out that this is a single loop circuit. So all of the current that goes through any element of the circuit goes through every other element of the circuit. So what I'll do is I'll define a current I and then from our discussion of single loop currents, which is in a previous video, I'm, I'm sorry, single loop circuits, which is in a previous video, I can just write down that I will be 6 volts at an angle of 0 degrees minus minus 10 VF. Okay, so those are the voltage sources divided by the sum of the impedances. The only difference between this and the DC steady state analysis version is that uh, this version uses impedances rather than um, rather than uh, um, just resistances. Okay, so um, the next thing we need to do in order to be able to solve for I, we have VF expressed, or er, still showing up due to this part of the source. But we need to have um, an expression for VF that uh, is based on I. 
Now this is going to be a little bit messy uh, because of the way the circuit is set up. So if we look at this, uh, so we look at the voltage across the capacitor, the voltage across um, the dependent voltage source, and then we go back through here, around this way, through the VF, we can apply Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. Now the voltage across the capacitor will be I times minus J2K. Okay, so let's just go around the loop. We have the voltage across the capacitor. Let's get a bright and cheerful color for this. I minus J2K plus negative 10 VF plus VF is equal to zero. Okay, and so let's see, we can combine the negative 10 VF and VF, move that to the opposite side so that we have I negative J2K is equal to 9 VF. And from this then we can see that VF is equal to minus J2K over 9. Okay, so we are closer to being done. We can take this expression for VF, actually this expression, and plug it in here to get something that depends only on I. Where'd the I go? There should be an I Oh dear, right here. Somehow I dropped this i out here. So I should have negative j2k times i over 9. Okay, so let's make ourselves a bit of room. Well, here we'll just cut away this part of the equation. And we have then minus 2k minus j2ki over 9. And we've replaced vf by this expression that we got for it. Okay, so we have one equation and one unknown. That equation requires us to solve for i. And um, I think before I do anything else, I'm going to do some math. I have the 6 volts divided by this guy. I also have um, all of this stuff. divided by this denominator. So I'm going to uh, just work out what those would be. Um, so if we go to Wolfram Alpha, we can start with 6 divided by 1,000 plus 4,000 minus i times 2,000. And that gives us um, 1.03 plus 0.413, well, I'll call that 4, there's a J there, milliamps. Okay, so I go back to my picture. And I can replace this guy with uh, 1.03 milliamps plus J.414 milliamps. Okay, so this guy here gives me this. 
and then we'll have minus, and in this case, go back to Wolfram Alpha. Okay, we'll have ten divided by nine times I two thousand. Oops, two thousand. And this gives us then minus point one five three plus j point three eight three. So we take this back and we can say then here we'll draw this in yet another color this whole thing here. Uh, will be minus minus point one five three plus j point three eight three times i. Okay, so <coughs> we now can solve this equation for i. And uh, let's see, let's get a let's do this in red. We have i. Oops times 1 plus 0.153 minus j.383. So basically I've taken this i, moved it over to this side of the equation, and this now is equal to 1.03 milliamps plus J.414 milliamps. Okay, and so now I can take this and solve for I. And when I go to Wolfram Alpha, this is what we get. Uh, we have 1.03 milliamps plus I.414 and we divide this by 1 plus 0.153 minus I times 0.383. We get 0.6, actually this comes out 0.7 milliamps plus 0.583 milliamps, and there should be a J there. Okay, so let's go back and write this down. We'll clear away the mess first. I hate for things to be too untidy. Okay, so we have then I. I is equal to 0.7 milliamps plus J.583 milliamps. Okay, so all we have to do now is find VF. Unfortunately, this has gotten complex enough doing the computations that I'm out of time. So we'll have to find VF in, the, in part two of this video. So thanks for watching. Come back to see how VF.